with Charles Davis as always I'm Brandon Gordon and Charles you talk about storylines in this one I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks certainly two of the best in the business and nowadays I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top flight quarterback the way the game is played with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him if he's not on the top of his game your team's not going to benefit at all. The kicker, Graham Gano, set to put his foot into this one. And we are underway here in London. This will be fielded inside the five. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. now Fitzpatrick throwing the out route incomplete that's Gonzalez and he's taken down but able to slip across the 35 11 yards there on the first play from scrimmage and what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do how about how he worked his way to the outside made sure he secured the catch and then anything after that we count that as a bonus and indeed he gets enough for the first down and he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. Well, Charles, look, and this is probably a harbinger of things to come. He's got such trust in his tight end, and they're on back-to-back -back plays. We're seeing that on display. And when they have that kind of trust, they're not as worried about what the coverage is because they feel like they know each other so well. They'll make the subtle move downfield, and the ball will end up in the right spot. And by the way, partner, what's harbinger mean? Help me out. Well, you're the one that taught me that a few years ago, so I'll have to lean on you for that. I'm just, I'm just hoping it fit into the sentence correctly. I must have got it from my word of the day calendar on my desk. Flush to his right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Oh, I saw this one with defensive eyes because even as he escaped the pocket and bought time, the coverage stayed tight. Nothing broke down. Throwing it away, that was his only option. Got a man, it's Randy Moss complete. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Play fake, it's Fitzpatrick. Rolling to his right. That would complete down the field to Gonzalez. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. He got 29 yards that time. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road to throw Fitzpatrick. Escaping the pressure right. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Tony Gonzalez from four yards out. And the Eagles will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Extra point try, good by Gano, and it's now a 7-0 game. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. First and ten, Fitzpatrick eluding the pressure right. That's going to be caught by Moss. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. 25 yards that time. Look, we came into this one focused on Randy Moss, and now he has our full attention with his first grab of the game. Well, he's one of only two players to go a whole season averaging over 100 yards receiving and average a touchdown per game as well. That's, that's a pretty impressive stat. It really is, especially when you consider that every defense he faced was prepared for it and was kicking coverages in his direction. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. A first carry for the Hall of Famer, it's Earl Campbell. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They go play action. Fitzpatrick. Open man is Osborne. He's got him. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. 
Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. On play action, Fitzpatrick. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. They go up the middle with Campbell. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. And the ball smack dab on the 5-yard line. Here's second and goal. Again, they run with Campbell. And he's going to get him about 3 yards closer. He's down to about the 2. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Only a yard there, so it brings up fourth and goal. Now Fitzpatrick, and he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. They wanted to throw for it. A surprise does not work on fourth and goal from the one. And this Eagle defense stands tall down near the goal line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. And hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing, and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did some of that. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. The best receivers we know always tease their quarterbacks that, hey, no matter what you do, you cannot overthrow me. Well, guess what? That's exactly what happened on that play. Normally, they time it up pretty well, but on that one, he just overshot him. To the sideline, and it's caught, but boy, he's out of bounds. And they try to get him into space, coming out of the backfield, but it'll be third down. On third down, Fitzpatrick. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. Now that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down permitted and then out. Obviously no loss of confidence with that defense. And now they get to turn it back to their offense. Fitzpatrick to throw for it on fourth down. He finds his man complete. It's Gonzalez. Not often to fourth down conversions results in 23 yards, but that's the case here. First down. Off the play fake here, Fitzpatrick. He's got a man complete. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Calvin Johnson, 50 yards. And the Eagles have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Gano the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. A fight for the football, and it's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. 
He got out of the pocket there, was wondering what he was going to do with it, but I think he was calling, his receiver was calling for the ball, wasn't he? He certainly was a problem. He called for it too late, and when he delivered, they were all over him in the secondary and came up with the interception. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Jordan Hicks. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, he's certainly not been afraid to take some chances downfield. Now, look, it's paid off for him a couple of times. That time, not so fortunate. And that's where I want to start, what you said. It's paid off a couple of times. So his aggressiveness has been good for his offense for the most part. So he throws an interception there. No one likes that. But I would not rein him back in. The return on investment thus far has been pretty good. Two touchdowns to one interception. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. I did like his decision making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing a throw. Now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down. And don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Fitzpatrick on the move to his left. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. There he goes, and for good reason. Running with it has paid dividends earlier in this game and earlier on this drive. And until they prove they can stop him, I don't think he's going to be shy about continuing to run for first downs instead of airing it out. Oh, what a grab, Moss. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. And that's why you do all the drills that you do from the quarterback position, because you're not going to just throw to your strength. The right-handed quarterback naturally will want to move to the right side to throw the football. But sometimes you've got to go left, and that's exactly what happened on that play. Forced to his left, still able to accurately throw it downfield for a completion. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Here's Fitzpatrick. They'll roll him out right. Got an open man. That's Campbell. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Fitzpatrick. This will be caught by Randy Moss. Call it a gain of a yard, and it'll be second down. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Looking to throw again on second down. Fitzpatrick. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Benjamin St. Juice. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. The struggles continue here offensively. Still nothing for him on the scoreboard and now an interception. Yeah, the offense looks extremely sluggish. Not really in sync at all. Dare I say, it looks like it got left behind in customs. Oh, you've had that in your back pocket. <laughs> you were waiting for that. Probably should have left it in my back pocket too. Well played. Throwing again here, Fitzpatrick on second and ten. And this is caught. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia.
With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. The kicker, Graham Gano, set to put his foot into this one. And off we go from MetLife Stadium. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. First and 10, and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Play action. It's Griffin. He'll buy some time right. It's Kelsey on the ground. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a first down on a gain of 10. RG3 outside of the pocket. You know that's where he can be really dangerous with the feet or here the arm. And that scares defenses in a big way because his ability to break ranks and still make big throws or, as you suggested, take off and go. How do you defend that when he's on his game? Throwing now. Griffin on first down. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. And the return stops just a little bit shy of midfield at the 48-yard line. Not something you see very often from a quarterback of his caliber, an opening drive interception. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. But we know this guy is not going to stop him from continuing to fire as this game goes along. Probably give a little nod of respect across the field for that one and let him know he'll be back the very next series. And his throw is incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell in. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the Pro Bowl safety cam chancellor. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. After the interception, here's Griffin. And he'll be forced out of bounds, shy of the line of scrimmage, so that'll be credited as a sack. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Second and 11 now. Out of the gun, Griffin. Flushed out right. They're trying for Sanders, but this is intercepted. It's the linebacker, Chad Greenway, with a pick. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit. And receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open. Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Ball hit as he throws there, incomplete. Well, these are the situations that really test the defense, those sudden changes. They're already inside field goal range to start the possession. Their goal now, keep it to a long kick if indeed they end up trying one. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Here's Fitzpatrick. Throw caught there by Osborne. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Fitzpatrick to throw it. Touchdown! K.J. Osborne from three yards out. And his guys have taken a first-quarter lead. 
On that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open in the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback-receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Out of the end zone comes Johnson. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result, and he opted for the touchback. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively. Obviously, two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week, not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. Second down at five. Now Griffin sliding out of the pocket. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. A little too aggressive defensively, and the flag comes out. And no one trying to cover is going to like a call going against them, but you have to like the effort there. Went for the interception, just unable to get it, and the flag did come out. And here's another interception, the third of this first quarter. Picked off by Xavier McKinney. Oh, and I saw the pressure coming at him. That just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it, and the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy, and can he step into a throw. And when you can't do that, oftentimes interceptions result. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Now it's a bootleg with Fitzpatrick. Steps away. Oh, that'll be incomplete. Oh, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. And that will be incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. Fourth down, Fitzpatrick. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The fourth down pass play doesn't work out. And as a result, possession switches hands. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Well, still early in this one, Charles, but the last time this offense was out there, they threw their first interception of the ball game. so trying to avoid repeating that mistake here on this drive. And to put a positive spin on it, at least it happened in the first half and not in a close game in the fourth quarter, but you're absolutely right, partner. One of the last things this offensive quarterback wants to witness again in this game. Kind of an obvious question, Charles, but anything you try to avoid after your first pick or you say it's one interception, we're still in the first half, I'm going to do the same thing. I think you want to avoid playing scared, you know, and put it into the mind of the quarterback that you've lost confidence in him. Make sure you get some throws that he's going to be able to complete, make him feel good about himself, and continue to run your offense. Well, let's give some credit to the defense. They did a nice job there as they flushed him to his right, but he is able to buy some time, extend the play, and turn it into a short gain. It's a second down run with Sanders. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. A gain of 13. It's a first down. 
exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Rolling to his right. And he's got this inside the ten to the nine before he's out of bounds. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Here's Griffin. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. Touchdown. Travis Kelsey. A nine-yard touchdown grab. And his guys are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Griffin will try and throw. Flush to his right. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So why go for that there? First half, you could have tied the game at seven. Why try to get the lead? Feels like an analytics call, doesn't it? That that's starting to really get into the game where yeah. they're studying where you can make extra points and the whole deal and you know get an advantage. But I don't know that we have enough data yet to really say this is the right play or the wrong play. Maybe in two or three more NFL say, seasons. Could change. Exactly. Two or three more NFL seasons, they could have a much better study and much better case of what we're going to do. Oh, what's up, man? Uh, Break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't yeah, come KJ back and bite them. After the know. other side, their defense came through, was able to hold them without any points. Saw I that. You, partner, a little oh. bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know what oh. us. No luck, mm. just pure skill. We rose to the challenge, and we didn't permit a score. I'm just That's trying to get some won. kind of something I'm out. I'm kind of curious, Charles, uh, if they might temper their aggressiveness now offensively if they get in that fourth down spot again. Yeah, one would think so, but maybe because they held him, they might go for it. He's got a man complete. And he's going to get this down near the 25. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside, and he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. That's caught out left side by Casper. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Second and inches. Fitzpatrick under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Well timed effort by Darius Slay, a sack on the corner blitz. Well, they had the right down and the definite distance to take a shot downfield, but it didn't work out the way that they had envisioned. No, that's a situation where if, if you take a sack close to the line of scrimmage, it's not that bad, but a loss like that, you can't you can't take a sack there. Yeah, absolutely. The one thing you cannot do, they did. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Fitzpatrick now. And it's caught. Touchdown. Mike Wallace. A 24-yard touchdown. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Now the offense will stay out there. They're going to line up and try for two. They'll try and run it here. And he will get into the end zone, and it's now a two-score game as the lead moves to nine. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Out of the end zone comes Johnson. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. <clears throat> the offense the back out there so at the good. line, ready for their next drive. And that last touchdown drive... Just looked a little out of whack. And it's so hard to stay... Up with oh, I did not side. see that. I did not see that He's dude get open. Well,
They'll try and throw for it. Escaping the pressure right. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. So now, Charles, two touchdowns, two tries at two-point conversions, and both fail. And you want to say, let's go ahead and run the kicker out there from now on. But the problem is you're chasing points yeah. at this stage. So now you've got to dial up more two-point conversions and hope you're successful from here on out. And yeah, he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. <clears throat> The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time out, Charles. Remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. <clears throat> From the 41, Fitzpatrick forced out to his left. And incomplete on the deep ball. Well, you know me, whether you need it or not, I'm going to give a little unsolicited advice. Just throw it downfield out of the pocket only if you're absolutely sure. Otherwise, use your running ability and try to get those yards a safer way. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Horrible. They'll send a receiver in motion to the right. They just get the playoff. Now Fitzpatrick. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. Oh. Oh. Now Fitzpatrick on fourth down. Dang it, man. Oh my god, I thought it would. And he'll take it across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. Certainly feels like the classic second guess, but let's be honest about it. They had a chance to go into halftime with the lead. Why did they take a chance with a throw there? I don't understand that. Well, that's what I'm wondering. And now this defense has to try to protect that lead going into the locker room. Mm. They'll roll him out right. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. They go play action. Griffin. Dude, I thought that route was covered, bro. Are you for real? Really, Darius Slay? Come on, dude. Come on. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Eluding the pressure right. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Richie Grant. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. CD, when he went to throw that, I'm not sure if he just didn't see where the defense was. Whatever the case, not the throw you're looking for on first and goal. Not at all, because, look, let's face it, that close to the goal line, if you throw an interception, is going to hurt on any down. But really, the only down you can kind of live with is if you do it on fourth down. The first three, if you don't have it wide open, just get rid of it. Make sure they can't get it and live to fight another down. First and goal, and you throw the pick, not good at all. To throw again on second down, Fitzpatrick. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Yeah. 
The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And despite the turnovers, Charles, and, and they had multiple in that first half, they still have the lead as they begin this third quarter. And they probably heard some conflicting tones. Bro, how did he drop that? A lot of for what Why are you still in here? This lead, but also a little I'm bit of get out. Because they got to take better care of the football in the second half. But you and I both know the great leaders, they know how to give that little bit of vinegar in there and cover it with a big dose of honey. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone yeah. defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. I'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. Now he'll let it go on the run, deep left side. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. On fourth down, they snap it to Fitzpatrick. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. That is a tough way to start the third quarter. You get the football, open to drive it down, put it in the end zone, and take the lead. Instead, they give them the football. And I think the key here is for them to not get discouraged. That is not how they drew it up, not how they saw it in their mind. But there's a long way to go in this game. You know, they've just got to find a way to come back one play at a time. Yes, it's a cliche, but they can get it done. After the interception, here's Griffin. He'll buy some time right. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Sanders, touchdown! So a very strong first drive in the second half, Charles, as they've turned that halftime deficit into a third-quarter lead. They were pretty purposeful there, weren't they? Measured in their approach. But boy, they executed awfully well, moving the ball down the field. There we go now as they will again try for two. They'll look to throw. Buying time to his left. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Protection was great. He had time to set up a campsite. But in the secondary, though, they were ready. And I think that in most places on the field, if you have that much time to throw the ball, someone's going to shake free and you'll find an open receiver. But condensed near the goal line on a two-point conversion, all that exit, you know, there's not any extra field. So it kind of closes in on them, and that allows you to cover a little bit better. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach? Not a good throw now here's at all. Interception. <sighs> Throw it into the corner. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw his second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent. But a quarter. And this is taken in at the five. Touchdown. A great play there with his.